16, one take one. I've never had my name on one of those things oh, before. Have you not? Nah. That's exciting. I'm going to end up stealing that. How often are you on this side of things? Never. Never. It's pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> but thankfully you guys are so lovely. First gig I went to was Foo Fighters, back when Foo Fighters were cool. We went right to the very front against the bar. We waited in line to get to the, the best spot and had bruises all over our ribs and have loved mosh pits ever since. The producers love sending out cub reporters on weather crosses. So it was a weather live cross and it was so windy. It was 100, I was reporting on 140 kilometer gusts of wind. I had to take my heels off because I couldn't ground myself. Um, and then it went dead calm just before the cross. I was so nervous. And then just as they came to me, this 140 kilometer gust of wind hit and I had saliva blowing out of my mouth. My face was like, you know, the dogs in the movies when they're in the car. Um, that was my first live cross, yeah. Drowned rat. The first time I was arrested. First time I was arrested on the job uh, was the Chris Cairns trial outside the Southwark Crown Court and not being totally au fait with the UK's stringent outside court filming rules. I put a GoPro in the wrong place. Probably Winston Peters. I'm just making a really general assumption there. I think I've had affairs with almost every leader of every political party. I think I was simultaneously at one point having an affair with Jacinda Ardern and Simon Bridges. Um, that was a strange time in my life, obviously. Uh, so I think that's that's probably it. Often women reporters get, um, you know, it's just an easy easy hit for the trolls on Twitter to assume that we're sleeping with everybody that we um, that we're interviewing.